How's it going everybody? You're watching that about tech and today I'm going to show you this, which is the ultimate iPhone security feature. It's called Assistive Access. It's a brand new iOS 17 feature and as you can see, once it's enabled, that's all you can access on this iPhone, just those five apps. Of course, this is fully customizable and you can individually pick which apps you want to have right here once the feature is on and as I said, that's all you can access. You you can't exit, right? You can only access those apps and you can use them normally, but if you want to actually exit the feature, you can't unless you have the specific custom passcode, which of course I'm going to show you and teach you how to set up and use this feature right now. And trust me, from now on, I'm not leaving the house without this feature enabled. Every time I go out, I enable the feature because if I get robbed, if somebody steals my iPhone, they won't be able to do anything but open just those few apps, nothing important like my banks or anything like that, so I know I'm safe. This feature is amazing. Let me show you right now how you can do it. Okay, so all you have to do is open up your settings and then scroll down until you see accessibility and then scroll all the way down until assistive access all the way at the bottom. And then you have the feature right here. As I said, this is exclusive to iOS 17, okay? Go ahead and tap on set up assistive access and then from here on, we're gonna do it step by step. So you can continue right here. It's going to say it's going to be associated with your Apple ID. That's what you want. So continue appearance. So if you want to have as grid or rows, as you saw in the intro, I was using grid and I prefer grid. Okay. So continue as well. And right here, the apps. So the apps that you'll be able to access and use while in assistive access. So those apps that will show up on that home screen that you saw in the intro, the available apps, right? So we have some recommendations here by iOS that those are pretty much the apps you're gonna wanna use, right? If you're doing this for security, uh, when you go out, as I said, which is I believe the best recommendation, uh, when you wanna use this feature for uh, security, of course, because this is an accessibility feature as well, right? So, of course, you want to make calls, uh, take photos, uh, see your messages, music, so you can enable all that, allow all of those, and of course, many, many more right here. All your apps you can manually choose as well. So, then they're all fully customizable. For example, if you want to make and receive calls, you tap on calls, and here uh, you'll be able to choose if you want to receive from contacts or just selected contacts and make calls uh, to your favorites, or if you want to select other calls as well, or if, for example, you want to show your keypad. So, it's fully customizable right here, and you can choose exactly what will show up while in assistive access okay so continue the camera as well what you'll be able to do with the camera so take a photo a photo selfie a video a video selfie for example if that's what you want to do while in assistive access uh, messages same story right here you can fully customize the messages you want to send and receive while in the mode okay so you can choose right here which which per people you want to send so you can select a contact and manually choose that contact right here uh, continue with as well and then music if you want to listen to music while in the mode you can select here some playlists for example in okay and photos if you want that I don't recommend if you're using this for a security feature to use and allow photos right and of course any other apps that you want to use if you want to allow Instagram whatever you can choose right here okay let's just use those four apps for this demonstration now continue right here continue once again and here the unlocking process, so how you can make it safe, right? So let's continue once again. And right here, we're gonna create that custom passcode. So while in assistive access, you'll only be able to exit by typing in this code that we're gonna type in right now. So I'm gonna do it one, two, three, four, just to make it easy for us. But of course, don't use such a code, right? Uh, if you want to, you can uh, recover through your Apple ID. Okay, I'm not gonna do it right now. And then, that's it, continue, we're done. And right here, we can start using assistive access. Of course, it's gonna ask for us to enable it with the passcode, and then it's gonna say entering assistive access. And it takes a while, like uh, 15, 20 seconds, because it's setting up the whole iPhone, right? So, 
let's wait. And so as you can see right here, assistive access is on. And of course, uh, you won't be able to exit it, right? You can't leave, you can't pull down on the notifications. You can, in fact, lock the screen, which is very, very good. Because of course, if you are away, right? If you leave with your iPhone and you wanna use this, this method, this is great because you can lock the screen, put it in your pocket and pretend it's your normal iPhone. When you wanna use it, of course, you can use Face ID, right? Tap, 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 and then it's gonna open up. Sometimes you have this bug where the screen is extremely dark, but it's easy to fix because there is a settings hidden right here. All you have to do is actually triple tap on the side button. So one, two, three, and then it's gonna say right here, settings, it's pretty hard to see, okay, settings. And then it's gonna ask for the code, one, two, three, four. And then right here, you can adjust the brightness and that's it. Uh, it, it is a small bug, as you can see right there, okay? And it just saw how to actually exit it as well. It's the exact same way. Once you're done with this, you get home, you're done, one, two, three, and then of course, exit assistive access. And then you put the code, and then it's gonna exit and again it's gonna take a few seconds to do it so as you can see right here this is the feature as i said this is not intended specifically uh, for security this is an accessibility feature intended for the elder or somebody with disabilities it's an amazing feature as you just saw and of course you can also use it for security and of course if you want to activate assistive access once again you go back to your settings same way right scroll down tap here on accessibility scroll all the way down to assistive access and then it's going to be right here all set up of course you don't have to do it all over again you start assistive access put your passcode and then it's going to be enabled just like so and then it's so easy to turn it on and turn it back off and so that's it guys in my opinion the best the ultimate iphone security feature i've never seen any feature like that that gives you so much control and customization on your iphone like this one and we can definitely 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 use it to make your iphone super safe so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video as usual guys bye bye